Hi, my name is Paweł Spychalski and if you watch this channel on a regular basis you know that my relationship with the Eversky R9 system and lately with Eversky as a provider of different radio control products is something that one might call the love and hate relationship. We have issues. I have issues, they have issues, it's let's say problematic. I'm using R9 since, I don't know, last almost two years now, no, two years it's too much, one and a half years with actually with really pretty good results, especially I was very happy from, with it in the beginning, especially with just super cheap. Lately, let's say, my, this whole access migration compatibility with the uh, older, older, come on, it's hard to read to call the X10S Horus and older radio and stuff like that. And the fact that Ever Sky is kind of like, um, does not like the R9M modules anymore and you cannot really use them with access firmware. If you have those, access is not for you because the hardware is not compatible, it's not working. If you want to use access on the R9 with the big one, with the one that fits to, fit to JR Bay, you have to upgrade to the R9M 2019. Ta -dam, ta -dam. What a coincidence, I got me one from, from China. Let's then compare what, well I know what changed, what I expect, I suspect, I know what changed between the one of the first versions of R9M and the R9M 2019, which is access compatible. The color of the casing, not really a big difference. Uh, well, but this is nice. Right now, there's finally information about the voltage you can. You can apply to the X30 plug on the one of the first one. It was like no idea. This one at least clearly says it's up to 12 volts. On the other hand, on the back side, um, please take a look that the label on both radios uh, is telling exactly the same. There is no information that this is a different model. It's FCC ID exactly the same. Although probably it's not really. 100% the same firmware. So let's open this, those things up and let's see what are the differences between the old legacy R9M and model 2019. I already have to warn you that my R9M is slightly modified because a few weeks ago I have made some changes to the hardware. Uh, I replaced the pigtail with a different one because there were I had some problems and I was just troubleshooting so over here the pigtail is replaced by me but oh uh, but besides that, I've made no absolutely other modifications to my R9. Let's open, let's compare, let's see what are the hardware changes between old and new. Internally, on the first glance, the differences between the old one and the new one are not that big. Over here on the right side of those PCBs, we have the RF section based on Semtech SX1279 LoRa module. Uh, 900 megahertz LoRa module and at the first glance the radio section on both modules actually look exactly the same. There are no visible big differences so for sure they did not really improve or make the, the radio uh, section any cheaper than it was before. On the other hand, uh, the everything on the left from the radio section, it clearly looks slightly, slightly different. I'm ignoring the slightly different position of the buzzer, but look, this one, the old one over here has some connectors. In the 2019s, the connectors are gone, there are only holes and the pads. 
Also, the buzzer is slightly, slightly different. The section over here looks the same, but look, this one, 2019, has improved or at least changed the power section over here. Uh, clearly, this is the stabilization for, for powering everything over here and uh, such a element no, they were, but the layout is slightly, slightly different. But here, the bigger, bigger capacitor clearly on the new version is improving the stability, the, the quality of the voltage stabilization over here. So actually, actually, this is a good, a good thing. On the other hand, oh, you see, on the bottom side of the board there are clearly uh, differences between the 2019 and the older ones the previously those one of no the, the chokes over here uh, you see there are one of them is moved to the other side uh, and clearly this section looks slightly different the CPU, on the other hand, is exactly the same. It's STM32F103CBT6. And so the CPU is the same. That means that nothing in terms of the memory or a flash size or the computing power or the radio section, it's really exactly the same hardware on this. But because they indeed changed the, the difference. The difference is that this can work with PXX2 protocol, which is a protocol between the radio and the module, which is much faster protocol than PXX that this legacy module uses. Probably what changed is that there is a different section on the input buffers, the inverters probably. And which one would it be? This one maybe? No, as the hmm, I have no idea really which one that might be. But if we then open here, over here it looks the same. So pro well, probably probably something changed over here. What? I have really no bloody idea and I have not really enough time to very precisely analyze the differences between the legacy and the current one. Either way, it's not that it's uh, brand new. It's definitely not a brand new hardware. Radio section is exactly the same. Really, exactly. Radio section is exactly the same on both. The CPU is the same in both cases. This, I cannot find this chip over here on the, on the legacy one. I wonder what that is. Hmm. Yeah, I should get better glasses. So there is something new and there is something new. Bottom line, bottom line, it's, it's slightly improved. It's slightly improved. The radio section the same, the CPU is the same. It's not more powerful. It's not much like has a bigger range out of nowhere, but the new one has clearly the better radio section. No, so the better power section, uh, probably, which is also probably, yeah, probably the, it, it has the better. Uh, power section so probably the voltage is more stable on the newer one and probably it also it might maybe affect slightly the range but on the other hand who knows um, and one of the new chips over here is just improved input buffers so honestly I'm not impressed the same more or less so why ah okay i don't want to criticize again so very 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 similar hardware no major differences although this is clearly a new design because the layout of everything besides the radio section is slightly different 
but why they could not just make this work with PXX2 or at least add the protocol selection so that you still can use access but on the PXX. Ah, anyway, <laughs> yeah. One more time. I'm not impressed. Anyhow, that's all for today. Until the next one. Bye.